come back to Gunny TV, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for sticking around for so long. Now we have a regular upload again. We're still out here at West Virginia, Peacemaker, nice range. This is just like a small range. We've been over there. Today we have something special for you. It's the Polymer 80. And you say what, Polymer 80? What's the company called? It's Polymer 80. That's... And the gun is called PFC9. Yes. And as a lot of people know, when they hear that, they will say it's a Glock clone, Glock 19 clone to be precise. But Polymer did a couple of tweaks that makes it a lot better than your typical Glock 19 in my and opinion. And that's not, like he's all about right when he says that. There's way better things in this standard gun that you can get. And I think, as you said, like, Let's, let's start with the obvious thing. So if you say, yeah, it already looks kind of like a Glock. It does and it does not. Like, you don't have these. Back grove and the front grove underneath. Exactly. Yeah, yeah you don't have these in a, in a typical Glock. And you don't have such a uh, like crazy angle going on here. This is a way more comfortable um, angle because like, that's the only thing for me um, like the only downside on a Glock that I've never liked was the angle. I couldn't, I couldn't hit targets with it. I shot with Glock for many, many years, and I know there's thousands of people now commenting in the comments like, "You're just too dumb to shoot." Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. No. First time I picked up a Walther, everything was like where it meant to. Be. So yeah, I had many years of experience shooting different kind of guns. First time shooting with a six hour, perfect. Like it was great. I went back to the Glock all over the place. Yeah, I still hit the target, but there was no grouping, which I wanted. Back when I finally got my Walther PPQ, I mastered it in like two or three years. And I shot hole in hole, which you want to do, but not with a Glock. But this one is so different. If you look on it from, from above, you see that it's way different. And you have a lot of serrations in here that are really amazing. I hope you can see that. So doing your press check and, and everything, it's super easy. Cause like, it, it's made like a, how do you call that mm. thing? That fish have, you know, oh. to breathe. So yeah, it, gills, it's I believe. gills. So yeah. it's, it's like reverted gills. And the sides are not bad. They really look like Glock sides. Yeah, so dude. if you look f through them, they look like it. And you said they take Glock Max, right? They do. They do. Glock Gen 3 Max, I believe. Okay, Gen 3. So if it's Gen 3, hopefully we're right. But you can see um, the typical Glock Mac fits in here. And um, yeah, 15 rounds. it's loaded so we don't play around with a loaded gun. So it's empty again. Best thing on this gun <laughs> is the trigger. So look at the cool trigger. It's a flat shoe trigger in a cool angle that's really comfortable. Which you only have when it's actually cocked. Yeah, now it's cocked. So let's go over the trigger pull and, and here. We'll switch sides for that. Yeah, switch sides. And now we do the trigger reset. Have you seen that? I'll do it again. It was so fast, it, it caught me by surprise. Bam. So now you can see the trigger stands in the rear while if it's cocked, it's up here. Which I think is pretty cool. So you have another indicator if the gun's loaded or not, or cocked at least. Exactly, which the Glock has not. I don't, I never owned the Glock. I shot one or two and I didn't like them. If sorry. they have, sorry. let me know, but I've never seen this happen no in a Glock. No idea. So this assembly works fairly easy. It's kinda, like a Glock, basically. It's kind of like a Glock, so you see it goes right off if you pull that down. It doesn't have to be loaded with some other guns. It has to, but yeah, it really is. And you see how how easy it is to put it back on. Yeah. It's, it's freaking crazy. So those slide serrations on here are cool. They're really aggressive. They feel like tape. They do. Like grip tape on a like skateboard. Tape, that's yeah. that's what I compare them to. That's funny. I've never seen that mm -hmm. attempt, but it's nice and it's not bad. And if, you carry if, that gun, so. Yeah, that's my, my EDC. That's my EDC. Yeah, it's super light, but also has the needed amount of weight 
especially at the top. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. It, it feels like it belongs to your arm. Yes, it that's does. that's really really cool. And it's very very controllable. Yeah, it's just the natural. And this is also the gun we tra we, we teased earlier. Yeah, that beaver tail. The beaver tail makes all the difference if you get all the way up in here. That's there is no movement. Yeah. So and you can fire this thing pretty fast. Yeah. We tried this before, so we shoot. We shot it, and you, yeah, I think you, sh you should see it on a video. He shot it really fast, really easy, mm -hmm. basically all because of the trigger and everything. Yeah. So, and yes, I did hit the target. He did. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I really like this gun. It was how much? Uh, 324, I believe, used, new, or something. I'm not so sure. So maybe. Under 500 bucks, so it's comparable to a price of a Glock, maybe cheaper. It's cheaper, definitely. Because like Glock raised in 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 its uh, prices. Back when I started shooting back in Germany, you you were able to get a used Glock for 300. So I would put on these 100 bucks more and get this, because this is really working. Yeah, the Glock, and the Glocks don't go for 300 anymore. Used. No, They're more anymore. like 450, 500. Exactly. So I can only recommend this gun to you, it's the Polymer 80 PFS? PFC 9. PFC 9, And then there is yeah. the PFS is the Glock 17 equivalent. It's a bit bigger. A bit bigger. This one is absolutely great for everyday care. It's perfect. 15 rounds in the magazine, good, controllable. And it eats, I love it. And I love eats it. bigger uh, magazines so you can also put bigger in there so yeah, that's fine if you want to see more we have one more one uh, more gun. gun here at west virginia at peacemaker uh, coming up for you next week so stay tuned if you like this video leave a comment leave a like thank you for sticking around and see you next time